Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to make a monster that has texture on it. I call this texture monsters. And I happen to have these really cool texture plates. A texture in art is the way something looks like it feels. Artists aren't really um, happy when people touch their artwork, paintings and whatnot. Some are, but in museums and stuff it's usually discouraged. So artists have to make art look like it feels a certain way. And these are one way to make your art look like it has a certain texture. I have a bunch of these really cool plates, but if you don't have any of these, you can use a piece of cardboard. This is just a piece of corrugated cardboard that came from a box with the top layer peeled. So this works really well too. Let me show you how these work. First thing I'm gonna do is show you how this texture plate works. So I'm gonna find Here's one with scales. This one looks really cool. So I'm gonna put this down and get a piece of white paper, put it on top. I need to hold this down with my hand and then I need a peeled crayon. This doesn't really work well when you use the tip of a crayon. It does work a little, yeah, it's not too bad. But if I'm using the side here, I'm not using the very tip. I'm using the side of my crayon edge Dark colors such as blues and reds and greens work well. Yellow is not so much because sometimes the texture doesn't show up, but you can try it. Definitely give it a shot. So here's my texture that I have. I can remove this. And then I can take one of my Sharpies and draw a monster. And this can be any kind of monster that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and make this the body of my monster. You can have a weird bump right here. Whoop and then I'll give him some funny feet, toenail. This will be some weird growth on his body. Give it some feet. I could give it some little hairs coming off the top of his head. Maybe some little pointy, pointy things which I'll color. Let's give him a nose. It's kind of tough because I already put the texture down there. So everything that I draw will have that texture underneath it, which is fine. A little fang. And then just if I want the eyes white, I could cut out some eyes from a piece of paper. So I'm gonna just make a little square here. and I'll fold it in half just so I can have two circles that look the same. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out two circles. So I'm actually cutting one, but since my paper is folded in half, I'm going to get two, ta-da! And then I'll take my glue stick. It's seen better days, but it still works. It's almost gone, but I can still get some out of there. Ooh, look at that, did you see that? It came right out. I'm gonna use it like this, still works. Put a little bit of eye there, eye there. And then I can outline my eye and maybe make a big pupil with a shiny spot in it. I like to make a shiny spot in it to make it look like it has some highlights. And that is one quick, simple way to make a monster. It might be easier if you do this drawing your monster first. So let's try it that way, as opposed to doing the rubbing first. So I'm going to get another piece of paper. This time, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a really big monster. He's gonna be really big, so he's going to be kind of going off the page a little bit. So I'm gonna to have to make a big texture here for this guy. I'm gonna give him some antenna Move my crayon box out of the way there. Big antenna, maybe one big eye. Color that in. Again, I like to leave a little white spot in there. Or two, some people like to leave two white spots. Got a few white spots in here, but that's okay. And then I'll make He's a happy monster with some silly teeth. So now what I wanna do 
is do my rubbing, but I want to avoid the areas that have the eyes and the teeth because I'd like those to stay white. So I am going to get, oh, this looks like a fun one. I'll try this circle one. I'll put my texture underneath. I'm going to hold it in place with my hand and I'm going to take the side of a crayon and rub. And I'm gonna get everywhere except for the areas that I want to stay white. So I'm going all along the edge really carefully. It's kind of tough to do this, so get right down to the paper, eye level with it and see what you can do. I ran out of texture space here, so I'm gonna to have to move my plate over in a second. But I'll just finish this. All right, I'll move my paper or my texture plate over now so I can get some more texture. They might not line up perfectly, but that's okay. They're still gonna look good. Oops, I got some on my tooth a little. All right, he's pretty cool looking. So now, maybe I'll choose a different color for up here. I still have my texture, but I got a little red. Move this, little texture with my red. And then maybe I'll make a red eyelid. And there you have it. Fun, cute little project. Texture monsters. Remember texture is the way something looks like it feels in art. Texture in real life is the way something feels. So if you were to feel this, you would actually feel there are bumps and grooves here. Have fun with it. Try a bunch of different textures. You can always go outside and do this on a pavement and you'll find some really cool texture. You could use a wall and you'd find some texture. So if you don't have texture plates, there are actually textures all around. So have fun with your artwork and finding them. And I hope you come up with some really cool texture monsters.